Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to write a code for a text box so that it only can accept the numbers or numerical values and not the other characters. So for example, I have been showing you this code in my video series uh, in which I enter employee ID name and all the data of the employee and I, when I press save, the data is saved into the database. But uh, right now when, for example, I want to enter the age and in this field, I could be able to type any string characters also like this, which I don't want that user should be able to enter these characters where it is supposed to enter the numerical values only. So I want to restrict the user so that it can only or he and he or she can only enter the numerical values. So let's see how can we do that. So I will just close the run project and just go to the text in which you want to restrict the user to enter only the numerical values so this is the age text box and then I will go to the properties of this text box and I will go to the event section so click press this event in the properties and then I will go to the I will search for the key press event here okay so just go here and this in this creep key press event just double click it and we will go to the key press event of the text box age right and in here you just need to write the code so write this code here so you need to write this code which is char and uh, give it a variable name is equal to e dot key char which is this e okay key press uh, event argument e so e dot key char and then give it a condition if condition and in the bracket give first of all not equal to sign this sign and then write care dot is digit and in the bracket pass this variable okay so what this uh, will do is it ask the text box only to accept the digit value so care dot is digit it's checking if if the entered value in the text box is a digit and otherwise if we press the backspace key so this 8 signifies the backspace key okay so i will show you just write the code if in the bracket not e not equal to care dot is digit and pass this care variable and once again copy this care variable not equal to 8 and if you go to the microsoft key enum enumeration table so just google for microsoft key enumeration for c sharp and you will come to this page here which is of microsoft and in here you will find the key enumeration for different keys of the keyboard so i'm searching for the backspace key so the backspace key has the enumeration or the number eight that's why i'm using the eight number there okay if you want to be able to press uh, some other keys like for example, I want to use the delete key also. So I will search for it. 
and this is del key which is 46 right so what I will do is I will go to my code and I will just copy this thing and I will make a space paste it here and here I will just enter 46 so my I can press backspace key or delete key or any digit other than that if I press any key it will not be entered into the text box so let's see what I'm talking about so just write uh, this code and then run your code username and password and in here I could be able to write anything here also any text here also any text and in here when I press any string I'm pressing so many keys at a time for the string but it's not accepting but when I press uh, any number for example any numerical value it's taking or when I press backspace it's taking the backspace also okay so it's only taking the numbers and backspace and it will also take the delete also but that's not uh, true for this case because I cannot delete without going back so here for example I go here and I press delete it's taking the delete also okay so it's taking delete backspaces and number nothing else I keep on pressing some other keys but it's not taking so that that's how you can restrict your uh, key or text box to take only uh, the numbers in this way you can customize your text box to take only numbers strings it's on your imagination how to use this code okay and for the key enumeration just go to this just search for key enumeration for C sharp and you will come to this Microsoft enumeration page and you can see what key stands for what number okay so I hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now